that up. That's going to be a KG2 just sitting on top of the ground. 1734 sitting on top of the ground. by this river right here at the mouth going into the uh, ocean whatever that's called but we got all these fields behind us and some more fields around so let's jump in and see what we get beautiful Well, I found a couple of buttons. I found my first to good find. It's kind of an iffy 14. That's what usually a small hammer is ringing up as. But I popped it up as some type of a green coin. It's real thin. There it is right there. You can see there's some writing around the edge of it. I'm not sure that says. I don't want to rub it too much more. I got a little patina already off of it. Let it keep drying out. Maybe later on we can see something. But it's a, definitely a coin. But it's real thin. This is old. This is very old. All right, first good find of the day. Let's keep rolling. Just got a 1213. Thought it was going to be a silver coin there for a second. But it's just going to be a Tomback button. Still got the full shank. Well, it's been a little bit. I got a, a signal. Popped it up. It was a, uh, a bell seal. And then I thought, well, that didn't sound right. So I threw some dirt out for a little bit further away and uh, found this green coin. Check this. I can't read. I think it says Victoria. I'm not sure. Is that, does that say no? That don't say Victoria, does it? That's something else. I'm not sure. I can get some more information off of it later definitely a coin just not certain very thin I might can make that out right there let's see what that's going to be let's put it this way kind of hard to tell I think I just got hammered. I can see it's still in the coin ball, and uh, let me show it to you. You see it? You see it? It's right in the middle of the screen. Still on the on edge right there. Let's pop it together. Definitely looks silver, doesn't it? I love it. That's my favorite look right there. All right. No, it's just going to be a Tom back button. Got bazing good. Oh, that'll fool you every time. Uh-oh. Yep, just going to be a, a Tom back button. It's got some design on it, though. That's pretty. Shank's broken. Yeah, you know, these things will get you. You'll think you got you got hammered fever out here in England. You get, dig these up, and you think it is. Well, I just dug this. Looks like it's going to be some type of a bell seal token or a bell seal. It's not a token, I don't think. They did make uh, tokens over here out of lead. That's got some writing on it. That's neat. I love these type of things. 
All right, let's keep going for that elusive silver. Well, it's got a 2829, just popped it up. It'll be a large coin, large copper. Feels like a KG3. I can tell by the thickness of it. Let me uh, let it dry out and let it clean up a little bit. Let's see if I can't get some definition off of it. Yeah, this is going to be a KG3. I know on camera you may not be able to see it, but he's facing right there. And maybe three right there. You can kind of see his face. There's nothing on the back. Pretty white. But hey, it's a copper. We'll dig him. Just dug this up. Bring it up like a 28 to a 30. I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. It's like a pine cone coming out. I don't know what that is. All right, let's keep going for that silver. Well, I just dug this one up, 1865. Maybe it's going to be a Queen Victoria. I have to look this up in my coin apps. I'm not real familiar with my England coins. But hey, got some details, got a date on it, 1865, I'll take that. Let's look it up and see what it is. I looked it up on my coin app, it's going to be 1865 Queen Victoria Halfpenny. Nothing on the back here, I mean you can make out a little bit. Well we moved on from that other field, it's just across that tree line back there. We moved on to this field. Right beside the intake. The intake is pretty windy out here. Got a 12 and just dug this up and it looks silver. And it is a piece of silver jewelry. Check this out. I wonder if that's gonna be a real real diamond. That's a nice little piece of jewelry. Oh, can't hold on to it. Can't hold on to this thing. Yeah, let me clean it up a little bit and see if we can't get some markings off of it. Well, there's no markings on it. It could be a button though, just a decorative button, or it could be a, a necklace. But I'm thinking it's a button now that after I clean it up and look at it. There's the shank. I think it's just a decorative old button. Well, I think today it's definitely been more of a copper relic type of day no silvers we've only got one silver out of all seven of us today um, I've got uh, another relic right here there it is right there it looks it rang up good like a 21 it's gonna be a watch winding or a clock key something that's a nice relic that dates back there. Flying my drone a little bit, went up to the church and uh, coming back out here in this field and got a 2930 signal. Thinking it's going to be a huge copper, but it's not. It's going to be one of those Queen Victorias. I've been digging a lot of those today. Check this out. It's right there. Queen Victoria. That's sitting on the, let me on this side here. There's not much definition on it. But they're just, it's mid 1800s, mid to late 1800s. Dug a bunch of those today. I haven't been filming all of them. All right, let's keep on rolling. Still haven't got the silver. All, all of us just got, none of us got silver, but one person. And he's got a big, uh, big silver, about the size of half dollar. Hat hammered one. All right. 
that's good for now let's keep on rolling there she is well back out here today day three and uh so trying to find that elusive silver i just got one hammered so far and uh, but the team has found i think four silvers uh three three four hammers and a gold so we found some good stuff but not like i really want it to be i really want a, some old hammers but i got my first target out here today it was ringing up at 28 29. it's going to be a, a greenie and literally truly when i first came to england on my first trip i always heard the stories that the natives over here the locals will look at the greenies and you know they'd be 16 1700 just throwing back into the to the hedgerows <clears throat> and i never understood that I'm thinking you know in america we get something 16 1700 that is old but over here 16 1700 just not that old you know that's kind of more modern and so you dig greenies over here just like you dig wheat pennies and stinking lincolns in america they're just they're everywhere and you'll dig a bunch of them and i got another one today there it is right there i don't know what it is it's going to be either a farthing or half i can't hold on to these things i'm going to, have to let it dry out before i can get any most likely this size I would guess it's going to be a Queen Vicky uh, half penny. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit and see what we can find on it. Yeah, it's going to be a Queen Victoria half penny. Date's going to be right underneath Britannia there. And you can tell when I turn it that way, you can see her looking to the left, a little bun on the back of her head. All right, that's a, that's a good find, 1860s. That's uh, not old being over here, but I'll take it. Well, can you see the difference in the color of the dirt? That drew my eye over here, and I started working myself toward this. And this is going to be an old house site. I can see glass all out here. And uh, I've already found one King George V here. And I just wanted to show y'all this. I just got a good tone. It'll be a surface fine. Let's see what this one's going to be. I thought there's going to be silver there for a second. No, nope, it's just going to be some type of... Uh, I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's just going to surface fine. Stuff you're looking for at an old house site. So maybe we're going to get a silver in here. Let's keep looking. Well, I'm just crisscrossing out here in this change of dirt. And just so I found another surface fine. Check that out. That's going to be a KG2 just sitting on top of the ground. Get the sun. But 17. What is that? Let me switch hands here. Good shape, Jay. 1794. 34. 17. Check that out. 1734. Sitting on top of the ground. All right, I'll take I'll take that old greedy. There's KG looking to the left. All right, let's get a picture. Keep on going. Now let's take another greenie. It's a Queen Victoria. Probably it's a penny this time. It's going to be a a um, mid 1860s. I'm sure somewhere around there can't read it on the back it's uh i try to clean it up but right where the rust is is where the date would be all right maybe there's a silver in here probably a milled silver if i do find one well i worked that house site pretty good there's another one over here to my left and a dark gray area in the soil so i'm gonna go over there and hit that one as well but on my way over here i got this it's gonna be a pocket knife not going to be an old one but it's something where are the hammer coins the roman coins the milled big silver coins where is all that at let's go see if we can find it at this other house site public footpath they have these signs marking the old footpaths and people can walk across private property on these footpaths there's a white stake to the right of that third tree up there and I think that's the pathway I'm fixing to go that way see if they dropped any coins through the ears 
Well, the finds are few and far between today, like yesterday. Just a lot of walking. That's what you do over here in England. And uh, you just get so tired. We walk about three miles a day or more, you know, in the wet mud and huh, all for that elusive old silver. It's worth it when you find it, though. It really is. I found something here that I've never found in England before. Let me show you. I dug this bullet a few minutes ago, and I've never dug. That's huge. It's almost like an infield bullet here in, uh, in the UK. But not very far from that, I dug a round ball. I haven't dug many of these uh, bullets up here in the UK, but I guess they got them too. All right, just thought I'd show it to you. Cause there ain't nothing else, just some old coppers, and I haven't been filming all my coppers because he digs so many of them. You'll dig these like you dig stinking Lincolns in the States. It's an 1841. You can't see. Maybe you can. Maybe I get up here. 1841. Still an old coin. I mean, you won't dig these in the States. But I've dug a lot of them today. This is a penny. Queen Victoria penny. Well, just getting another 28, I think, is what it was. It's right here. Gonna be another. This one's gonna be older. In the sun. Let's see if we can get some definition off of this one. And it's gonna be. I see him facing left. That's going to be a KG2. And there he is. I think that's a KG2. I couldn't get a date off of it. And so, let's get a picture and keep going. There's getting a little bit older now. Queen Victoria, now I'm down to KG2, and maybe there's going to be a silver out here. <laughs> well, it's almost time to quit, and I came out here for 30 more minutes. And my hands are frozen. Oh, the wind out here is just horrible. But I got a 3031 signal, just popped it up and just wiped it off. Check this out. I'm not sure if it's it's got a reeded edge. It could be a big piece of silver. Let me clean it up and see what this might be. I'm not sure what this is gonna be. It says pence right there. I'm trying to see what it says up here. It says crown there. It's definitely a silver coin. It's been in the fire. It's melted on the back. That's why it's ringing up so good. Choppy because it's all broken up. Hey, it's a piece of silver though. I'll, I'll research this later on and see what this may be. Mm -hmm.